Hello, welcome to Zerkzank Says, I'm Zerkzank, and uh, so I wrote some, some like, script things for some videos, and uh, fuck. My eyes really hurt for some reason. I'm kind of tired, but I don't know why my eyes hurt. It's not because of me tired, it's like, it's different, it's like a really weird feeling, but um, yeah, what I was gonna say was that uh, I wrote a bunch of script things, like they're actual scripts, as in like uh, just stuff that I wrote down as thoughts to put into a video, and so I'm just gonna do that now so that I get get them out of the way. <laughs> it's like a chore or something, but it's not. It's this first one that I wrote is about empathy, or seeing something through someone else's point of view and uh, how to be less judgmental or like um, like a yeah, sort of like a guideline thing that, that I try to follow myself as in when someone gives you a, an idea that uh, if someone says something to you but you disagree with it you know you can just accept that maybe they have a different point of view and try and understand why so when I make a statement I'm not asking you to take my word for it as a pure fact I'm just asking you to consider that what I say might be true and that if I s if if it is true then what that could mean so like hypothetically I'm saying if you agree with me on a topic on a certain thing if you agree with what I say about something and x plus y equals z uh, even if you think like x plus y equals a x plus y could equal b we could both be wrong about something but it's about just inviting that thought I don't expect my videos to have like a drastic effect on you or to change your life entire life way of thinking but it might do I mean that would be that would be interesting but I'm not trying to like, uh, trying to provide anyone with a false sense of new ideas of what they have, what you have to do. And it, I, I do like to speak in extremes, you know, saying that nobody or everybody or whatever. I exaggerate things a lot when I say things, but, um, you know, I, 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 that's the way I speak, so. You gotta, you gotta bear that in mind and try and understand that these videos are just sort of made to invite a way of thinking. And if my opinion is different to yours on a topic, then it might be worth trying to understand why my opinion is different and to consider that there may be a hundred other opinions on the same subject. Really, it doesn't require you to deny your own ideas or to reject your own ideas, but more so what I'm saying is put them on pause for a second take a look at what I have to say and then start to contrast them with your own ideas and with other people's ideas beyond ours and then we could um you know get to a further on point you know that's how you build upon a knowledge base and if you can contribute to that within your own mind if I can help you contribute to that and other people can help you contribute to that, then we all collectively get better at life. <clears throat> that extra experience that you can't get from your own life, so you get life experience from other people and experience a point of view from them. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's really unhealthy to just keep assuming that nobody else can have valid thoughts like the to to try and understand why some people might think the way they do and that just to understand that from their perspective they think that they're right and that doesn't necessarily make them wrong because if they used life experience and logic to reach a conclusion then you can't really say that they're wrong because even if they're factually wrong, if even if they're saying something that's scientifically proven to be untrue, it's like 
they still believe in it to a point where it may as well be true for them and they will act in a certain way as if that is true so it's worth considering that and how they got to that thought to that point uh, in thinking to look back on their their thought process and their life experience so I'm not saying that it's easy to look through other people's eyes and to borrow someone else's brain for a while because that's essentially what you're doing and it's really hard to do that uh, to try and think the way that they do and to try and understand why they think that way it's very difficult to do that but it's very rewarding and I can say that uh, and say you can learn a lot from it and it makes you a better person like you can become a better person just by thinking through someone else's brain like what they must have gone through in their life uh, and how that might affect the way that they think and I keep repeating myself but I'm gonna try and uh, it's because re I'm repeating myself because I'm trying to get the the right way of saying something I didn't write the what, what I'm trying to say down here properly so it's just a long-winded thing um where was I on this fucking list become a better person yeah 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 having an understanding of other viewpoints helps you communicate a lot better that's what it mostly comes down to communication if you can look at somebody and understand their mind then you can communicate your ideas to that person a lot better uh, than if you were to just say things because you know you you have both have different interpretations of the same thing so when you explain a shape or a color to somebody they might not be thinking of the same shape or color it's the one of the reasons why books always uh, translate badly into films because everyone who read the book uh, ended up with like a mental image of the story playing out the characters in the book and visualizations in the book that um, are in their mind but not in anyone else's mind you know you get a unique experience when you read a book so when you go see a film that was of a book that you had an experience of it's never going to be the same as what you imagined so, so that's why people get disappointed at that so what I'm saying here is that if you can understand or if you can think through someone else's mind then you get a much more clear way to communicate like if you could transfer your thoughts to them this is about the closest way that you can get to doing that so that you end up with the same perception of the book or going back to what I said before thinking about how they perceived the book to be and how you perceived the book to be it's very interesting to look at both sides of it how both peop uh, two people more people can have different interpretations of the same text you know the, the, the words in the book are the same but the mental image that goes into people's heads is different and so it gives you insight helps you understand your own thoughts a lot better helps you predict how people are going to other people are going to react to certain situations uh, and equips you to deal better with everything when you have multiple answers to the same question so it's a pretty powerful tool really it's it's like having a superpower empathy who would have thought that something that everyone has pretty much is a superpower I don't know I might just be overselling it here but I what I'm trying to say is uh, th 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 don't try and take what I say too close to your heart and uh, above all not to let it bother you it's not worth getting worked up uh, over what I'm saying so going back to what I said at the beginning of this video I forgot that that's what this was about it was basically about me trying to say that uh, I can have my opinion you can have yours and that we're better off having two opinions than having a shared opinion um, I appreciate that if 
you watch the video and agree or disagree but don't let it get to you uh, that's part of the whole critical thinking process and being open minded oh, I think this is another topic here this is a much longer topic about critical thinking you don't have to agree just try to accept that everyone has their own view and if after all of this you still feel so strongly affected by my videos you should consider making your own videos in which you voice your counter opinions I don't know why I wrote that I think that I was supposed to have different intonations on it and be pronounced differently but uh oh yeah yeah no I should have read the next sentence along see my own script is fucking bullshit because I am tired I'm actually really tired I was saying you should make your own videos because that would be a more productive way for you to spend your time than to just complain about my opinions so that's what I was trying to get at here it's kind of a long-winded way to say 11 minutes in what I'm saying is don't complain about my opinions uh, just try and understand that I have them and then you can criticize my facts and logic then that's that's all that's how we get somewhere that's how we progress criticize the facts and the logic but the opinions you know they're just, they're just opinions so I was saying you, you it would be more productive for you to go and make your own videos about your own opinions rather than criticizing mine because uh, I don't mind having my opinions criticized just because that doesn't bother me too much but I just think that it's a waste of time for anyone to criticize other people's opinions like oh you like this kind of music whoa you you suck you're a bad person like no I don't care what music you like I don't care what your opinions are on something uh, I mean I, I, I do I care in a positive way that's what I'm trying to say here I care in a I'm in genuinely interested kind of way I'm not saying that I care in a negative way like that I'll have bad opinions of somebody because of their opinions. Oh fucking hell! This, that's I just, that sounds like a, some fucking circle shit. Uh, oh god. Uh, like what I say with empathy, I enjoy seeing it from another perspective. What does that mean? I don't know why I wrote that. Uh, but it's useless to just see in the comments section you're a fucking idiot because I can't learn from that it's not critical of my video and it's not enough for me to get insight into your perspective oh yeah I was saying if you're gonna criticize somebody you need to actually break down what it is that you're criticizing and uh, offer some kind of solution or at least say specifically what the problem is you can't just say you're a fucking idiot or you're wrong or you don't know what you're talking about you're essentially refuting what I say because you don't like it and that's not an argument that's that's just you having an opinion and like I said my videos are opinions your comments are opinions but instead of commenting your opinion make a video about it uh, or explain it it's much, much easier I guess and then I can learn from that whereas if you're just making a stupid comment then all I can learn from that is that uh, you're bothered by the content or that you're just trying to troll me which probably is one thing being caused by another you know you don't like the video so you troll troll me I guess but either way that's not enough to work with so I can't empathize with you or have any real debate linking back to the title thing empathy hey so we've gone full circle here empathy it's a very powerful tool it's a very very cool very uh, special thing you can uh, do, with, do with your mind fucking empathy man There are loads of topics in this that I would have liked to have gone into more. And maybe I should have drank some Lucasade before. Should have drunk some Lucasade before I did this video because it's uh 
I'm very tired. I'm actually going to go to sleep right after this probably.